All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another video for you guys and it's going to be my recent pickups. So basically what I've acquired in the past three months or so. And I know it's not that recent being three months, but nonetheless, you guys probably haven't seen these pieces. So hopefully it's still enjoyable. Uh, anyways, we're going to go over tops, bottoms, a couple accessories, and as well, we're going to go over two to three articles of footwear. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. All right, so to kick off this video, we're going to go over tops. And the first top in question is actually this jacket by Isimiyaki. This is actually a sub-label, I'd say, of Isimiyaki. It's actually Isi Skyline. So basically, Isimiyaki produced a line of merchandise to promote the Nissan Skyline back in, I think it was 94. This is one of the pieces that came out of that collection. Basically, it's your regular degular bomber jacket. It has an asymmetrical button closure which I thought was cool. It reminds me of that one Visvim jacket. I forgot what it's called. I believe it's called the Cham Do jacket. I don't know, I'll throw a picture up of it. But anyways, yeah, that asymmetrical feature kind of reminds me of that. Some of the features, we got a pocket on the shoulder. And instead of that, you know, that typical orange satin lining, this actually has a red lining. It's all over satin. It's more like a gray color than an actual black goes with almost everything to be honest super happy with this piece all right so the next item we have on the list is a type 3 denim jacket by sugarcane i have no idea what actual model this is exactly but nonetheless you're getting that japanese quality of denim you can see the little imperfections on the jacket from the looms they use and yeah super versatile piece can't wait to wear this not much else to say to be honest but it's Japanese, so it's better. All right, so the next piece we have here is the Visvim Sanjiro Benny jacket. So basically this jacket combines a military parka and a Japanese kimono. When you combine the two, this is what you get. You get it in a military green color. You can see there's lots of fading on it and it gives it kind of like a sand wash. This has been used a lot based on the fading. And you can see there's a stencil with a V on it. Perfect for the winter coming up because it's fairly heavy and my hands getting tired carrying this shit. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. All right, so now that we got all the heavier tops out the way, here's a more lighter option. This is the Visman Albacore shirt. And at first glance, this is pretty much your regular button up. When you turn it to the back, there's a little bit of flare. You can see there's obviously a pattern on the back of the sleeves. So this pattern is essentially like stitched in to the back of the sleeves and it's more of a weaved fabric. There's like little imperfections you can see on it, which I think is pretty cool. Since it's a regular button up, I've gotten tons of wear out of it. Can't go wrong with this, to be honest. All right, so next up we have is a v -Lone baseball type jersey. It's kind of like a hybrid between like a Henley shirt and a baseball jersey. So obviously you got like the three, four sleeves. It fits a bit oversized. And I'd say this is more like a fall winter piece opposed to a spring summer piece because the baseball jersey itself is kind of made entirely out of wool. It feels like it's got like a, a more of a marled texture to it. And as you can see, it's all over black. And on the collar, got a little hit of navy blue. And you can see the little distressed details right there. Yeah, other than that, uh, I'd probably wear this with maybe a hoodie. You could chuck a hoodie under this, honestly, and it might look good, but we'll see how I style this. On to the next one. All right, so the last top is actually a vest by Capital. I believe this is called their Navajo vest. It's made out of a thin nylon, so it's perfect for the summer and there's a little bit of netting behind the nylon. So right when you look at this, the tassels and the pattern kind of jumps out at you. And it's a little bit loud for my taste to be honest, but I wanted to kind of find a way to add color to my outfits in a more subtle way. So for example, I'd wear this in particular 
under a jacket. So a little bit of the vest peeks out and I think that looks cool. I haven't got too much wear out of this, but hopefully I will in the coming months when it's cold. All right, so now with all the tops out the way, we can get to bottoms. The first pair of bottoms is a pair of monkey pants by John Bull. These are actually a reproduction of the famous monkey pants. Um, as you can see, there's a fat back pocket as well as two larger pockets in the front. And then you got the all over herringbone twill type deal. Honestly, I love these pants. They go with everything. They're a great switch up from the OG 107s that everyone seems to love. These I wear heavily. All right, so the next two pair of bottoms are actually pairs of raw denim. So first off, we have a pair from Sugarcane. These are the 1947 model. So essentially, these are modeled after the classic Levi's 501. So they retain the same kind of details and original fit the 501s had. So right here we have the button fly. And then on the back we have a leather tab, kind of resembles the Levi's one. And I bought these on Self Edge. And the cool thing about buying these on Self Edge is that you can actually have them hemmed even if you buy online. So originally these were a 30-34 and I got them tailored to a 30-30. I can't wait to see how these turn out when they fade onto the next pair. All right, so the next pair of raw denim is actually from Japan Blue Jeans. These are pretty similar to the sugarcane ones, aside from a couple different details. So honestly, I'm not gonna throw any B-roll in it. I'm just gonna explain the details in full. The first thing that catches your eye is the zip fly. This one has a zip fly opposed to the sugarcane ones. One thing I noticed with Japan blue jeans is that most of their jeans, the inseam is actually blue. They use a blue stitching for the inseam, so that's pretty cool. The selvage edge actually has a little bit of a different color to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It resembles some type of flag. I forgot which one it was. You can also notice that the denim itself, it's more slubby the fabric overall is more uneven so the fades will turn out hella good i'm excited to see how these turn out as well all right so moving on to footwear our first piece of footwear is actually a converse jack purcell so these are the skate version so the materials kind of differ from your regular jack purcell i believe the regular jack purcells usually come in canvas and a leather so these are actually made out of the rough suede. So essentially these are built tough. Other than that, they're your regular Jack Purcell. You got the toe cap with the line through the toe. Based on how cooked these are, you can see that I wear these almost every day. Soles are pretty musty right now. Perfect everyday shoe. Let's get on to the next one. All right, so the last pair of footwear is actually a pair of boots. These are a pair of duck boots from Sorrel. You can see that there's a little graphic right here. It's slightly fading a little. But honestly, I bought these for the harsh Indiana winters. These are pretty much indestructible. I'm super happy with these. I caught these for maybe like 30 bucks on eBay. They got that super rugged look and they're super heavyweight. So you could probably knock someone out with these. These weigh a shit ton. Obviously there's a wool inner lining. So you're not gonna be wearing these in summer unless you want ovens on your feet. Super heavyweight boot, mainly for winter. Can't wait to wear these. All right, so the last category is actually accessories. And for this video, I only have one accessory and it's the ground covered Suno bag. So this is a great bag in general. It stores a shit ton of stuff. It's super environmentally friendly. And honestly, it just looks good. Makes you look like you're a Rust character, in my opinion. I use this bag for school every day. I usually store at least a couple of books and laptops in it, as well as some pencils. It gets kind of heavy, but nonetheless, you can still fit them. Great everyday bag, can't go wrong with this. All right, so that is going to be it for the recent pickups video. Just a quick thank you. I wanted to thank everyone that watched the Visvim Cristo video. It did better than I thought, and I appreciate everyone who watched. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.